What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the difference between customizing with a paintbrush and customizing with an airbrush. Now this leads us to the question, which is better? There's definitely advantages and disadvantages of both, so let's take a look. Here's the deal. I have two shoes here. One I'm going to paint with an airbrush and one I'm going to paint with a brush. First thing we need to do for both is prep our surface with some deglazer. Now, here's where I'm going to start seeing some major differences. One of the most important things to do when airbrushing is tape off all areas you don't want to get paint on. Now, this sounds pretty simple, but most of the time you're going to need to tape off the entire shoe in order to get a clean job. This is super duper time consuming and a large amount of extra work. When painting with a brush, taping off areas before painting is completely optional and usually requires a small area to be taped. There's also some differences in prepping our paint before laying it on our shoe. For both mixtures, we're going to need to add our paint plus duller. For our airbrush mixture, we need to add an extra product called Too Thin. This is required in order to allow the paint to run smoothly through our gun. For our paintbrush mixture, we simply need to add two things and we're ready to go. So at this point, you're probably thinking that the airbrush is just completely not worth it. But here's where it makes up for a lot of its disadvantages. Your airbrush needs to be connected to a compressor and the cool thing about that is you can control the pressure. Now this is going to allow for either a light mist or a heavy spray. Some really cool effects can be created with this and not to mention that your coats are going to be a lot thinner. This will also eliminate any chance for stroke marks and you can completely fill in panels within minutes. This will reduce your painting time by a huge amount. Although these things are all great, you still run the risk of some possible overspray and it's a lot harder to cover details when everything's taped up. As for painting with a brush, the biggest difference from an airbrush is that it's going to take you a lot longer. You don't really get any pressure control and you run the risk of having some stroke marks if not done properly. However, it's easier to get small details, there's no overspray, and no need to have to untape everything and retape in order to start a new panel. Your cleanup with a brush is going to be a lot easier as well. All you really need to do is dip it in some water and clean it off with a towel. As for cleaning an airbrush, you need to wipe out all paint and run some airbrush cleaner through it every time you switch out colors. Both shoes in the end come out pretty good, but let's look at the pros and cons of each. 